Yeah. I'm ready. I'm ready. It's the power of the mustache, right? Yeah, there you go, sir. We talked about uh, how nobody knows what you're like on the ground. You did have that moment in the second round. <laughs> yeah, it, like they, they, they still don't, you know. Um, I, I had it in my head. Obviously, it's not planned because it's a fight. We don't, we don't plan our fights out. Um, but it was, hey, um, maybe I'll look for the takedown. You know, this guy's um, strictly, not strictly, but mainly tie boxer. So if we get in nice and tight, maybe I'll clinch with him and take him down. Um, that plan went out the window in 10 seconds. <laughs> we got in there and started trading, and uh, it just, a, a, fli a switch flipped, and it, it was just go time. So let's, let's, let's start slinging, and, and uh, let's see who's got a harder head. A little bit, a little bit. Yeah, he he had me he had me uh, wobbled a little bit. Um, I don't think I was ever in danger of being put out. Uh, but yeah, I, I definitely I definitely felt him reach out and touch me. How much of uh, being here back at home? I mean, we talked the other day about how last time you fought here at home. Yeah. Another fifty thousand. Yeah. Uh, hey. How much of being here at home? I, I I hope tonight's the same. But we got we got cowboy and we got cowboy coming up. You know. Uh, it's hard to beat that guy for bonuses. There's a lot of really good fights on the card tonight, so um, we'll, we'll see what the night brings. You know, I'm, maybe, I, I'm hoping maybe at least a performance bonus. Um, it'd be nice to get that double performance and knockout. Boy, would that be beautiful. Uh, that alone would probably pay my mortgage. We talked uh, about you know, your age and when that time will come. but Age is just a number. How, how big was this, though, coming off of two straight losses and then, and then obviously well, coming off the injury as well? Speak wisely there, Matt. Two straight losses on paper. <laughs> um, you know, yeah, I, no, uh, the, the fight with Alejandro, yes, it's a loss. Um, it's a loss on paper, but I don't take it as a loss. I, I feel I won that fight, as did 80% of America. Um, so it is what it is. Take nothing away from the guy. The guy is, uh, he, he's tough as nails, and uh, he, he took some and gave some. Um, you know, so unfortunately, it's, it's a loss on record, but not a loss in my head. So, uh, on paper, I had to come and get redemption. I, I had to come out. This was, I've always told myself, if you lose three in a row, it's time to hang them up. So, that being said, I got at least three more, right? How much studying did you do ahead of this fight with Corey? How much studying? None. None, I, I, I hardly ever look at tape. Uh, my, my corners, they, they look at they look at a little bit, and we never really adjust. Uh, so, you know, I, we, we, we train everything. We're, it, you're, you're at the top of the top here. You can't train just one thing. You can get better in different areas, but I mean, you, you got to have the wrestling. You got to have the kickboxing. You got to have the jujitsu. You got to have it all. So I mean, we never we never really change things. Sometimes we'll train a little heavier on one thing or the other. Um, I'll be honest with you. We kind of focused a little more on the takedowns for this fight, um, knowing that this guy's a, a stand-up guy. That hey, maybe we'll take this guy to the ground. That's why I, I spoke with Matt yesterday. Hey. You might, you might see Eddie's ground game tomorrow. You know, I, everybody knows I'm a puncher, so <laughs> let's get to punching. You almost had a submission on him there, and then you, you switched and kind of adjusted. Was it just I like, did. I got to get the win. It doesn't matter. Like, so uh, when, when I, I had him hurt, I had him rocked, and I could feel my forearm under his chin, and he immediately felt that, and he noticed that, and uh, I, I almost had a power guillotine on him. If I, if I could have locked up the power guillotine, I would have hung on and just squeezed the crap out of him. Mm -hmm. um, started slipping out of it sweaty and, and you know everybody that I train with and, and coach and all that I always tell them know when the guy's hurt and when the guy's hurt don't worry about submitting unless you know 100% you have it locked up just let him go and beat the crap out of him and, and that's I mean that's what I had to do as soon as I knew that that submission wasn't there I had to back off um, I just missed him with that right hook coming out of the coming out of the turtle position there. Um, I, I and I could see when he stood up, he was still kind of staggering backwards. Um, something I should have done in my last fight was was follow him up when they're hurt. Uh, it, it was time to pull the trigger this time. It was a do or die. So uh, you know, it, it, <laughs> bang bang, you know. You need looking to return. I know, you know, again, you just had this fight. But. Honestly, I'd like to try to fight another two times this year if I could. Um, you know, my, my, my one son's birthday is in August, so uh, maybe, maybe sometime shortly after that. My other's in November, so maybe December. Um, all depends. You know, I'll, we'll, I'll talk with Sean and, uh, and Mick and, and see what they, what they think. Why, why that number? It's just the, the three strikes and you're out rule. Um, 
you know, and I say three and out, uh, but I'm a fighter at heart, you know. So, so should I should I take three losses in a row? Knock on wood. Um, whatever the if the UFC said, hey man, we're gonna give you another shot. This is you know this is kind of your your last your last shot. I'd probably take it. Um, but if they said, hey, you got to hang it up, <laughs> I might ask them to let me retire before they before they. They put the kibosh on it because I mean I did, I love fighting for the UFC I love this organization um, and I, I told Sean when I signed my last my last contract was you know it, it's when I when I'm done fighting for the UFC I'm just I'm basically done fighting you know um, 35 I got two kids they're two and four years old so uh, they're they're getting to the point to where they got stuff that they like to do I, I take them everywhere with me and um, I just I, I love hanging out with the kids and and. Sooner or later, I'm going to have to hang it up. There's a lot going on in your division, specifically on this card. Is, yes, there is. Is the angle for yourself still the UFC title? Yeah, it's, it always is. You know, um, it's all it's always the title, but more so the money. You know, I, I'd be lying if I said I didn't want that money. Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm 35. I got a mortgage. I want to walk away from fighting, owning my house. Um, if I if I can do that, I'll be happy. And. Um, so with the belt comes the money, right? Right. So we're, we're, we're all chasing the belt. If you're not chasing the belt, I mean, I, I, I understand people love to fight, and I love to fight, but I want to fight the best. And to fight the best, to fight and beat the best, will get you to that belt. So at, you are a prize fighter, so an opponent that could draw more attention would obviously probably bring more money. So would Henry winning the title be better for the bantamweight division in terms of eyeballs? Boy, I don't know. I, I, I'll be honest with you. I, I don't pay a whole lot of attention outside of what I have going on. Um, myself fighting. I'm a full-time firefighter. I'm a full-time father uh, of two just ridiculously insane off-the-wall kids. Uh, love them to death, but some days it's, you know, anybody who's got kids, they know how that goes. Uh, I wouldn't trade it for the world, though. Um, I, I, I love I love my life, and I... And I, I focus on what I have going on versus what's going on around me. Um, whatever they call and tell me that, that it's, hey, you're fighting this guy, okay. Yeah, I, I, used, to, I used to like to maybe, oh, I wanna fight this guy, I wanna fight that guy. Well, 35 years old, no more picking and choosing, just who am I fighting, where am I fighting him, let's do it. What about your eye of favor? He's returning now. And yeah. That, that's, you know, you're yeah. talking about big money fights, he's sure. a game, right? That sure, he, he is, he is, you know, and, and we fought, uh, uh, actually, I, I don't know if it was the first or the second UFC card that had UFC bantamweights. Uh, you know, that, that was a fun fight. That was a real fun fight. Um, again, whatever they tell me. I, I'm, not, I'm not saying I want to fight this guy, I want to fight that guy, da 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 Just tell me who I'm fighting. Tell me who I'm fighting and, and where it is, when it is. Uh, send me the contract and I'll sign it. Outside of what this win does for you, how good does it feel or what does it do for your confidence knowing that it was the striking that finish it, getting those, those <laughs> solid shots that was hurting them, what does that do for your confidence? I, I, there, maybe there were doubts that you were having in your head just, that maybe it wasn't there, but what, is, what does that do for you? You know, you still got it? It, it, I know that my power is there. There is there's no secret that my power, I, I, I would venture to bet I'm probably one of the, if not the hardest hitter at 135. Um, at 135 pounds, I've got a 460 pound deadlift. And all of that power from the floor up translates into the punching power. Everybody thinks just because you got big muscles, you hit hard. Well, that's, that's further from the truth. Uh, you know, so my confidence that I hit hard is there. It was, I need to get in there and just let go. I need to quit worrying about what's this guy gonna do? Is he gonna try and take me down? Is he gonna kick me? Is he gonna punch me? Is he gonna elbow me? What's he gonna do? And I need to go in there and do what I'm gonna do instead of letting him, they're worrying about what he's gonna do. So. You just put you number two, if I saw the graphic the all time UFC, WC, Bantamweight wins. How nice would it be to, to go out of this thing in a few years with that record? Hey, I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. I, I, I think there's, uh, I think I'm up there on the knockouts too. I don't know what number I'm at, but I think I'm up there. So.